A lot of guys have been asking me what we use in the field to film our hunts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run down the, through this pretty quickly. And if you guys got questions, just ask below and I'll get back to you as soon as I log on and get them. Um, one thing that we do use is we use a standard tripod with the standard tripod GoPro adapter. Um, we've used this quite a bit and it does work really good. This tripod I think ran me like 15 bucks and it goes up to 62 inches. So you can get quite a bit of height out of them if you have deeper water conditions. Um, great tool, easy to camouflage. We use just some, some simple burlap and we'll wrap it around the legs with zip ties and we'll put stubble or whatever vegetation is around us to make it blend in a little bit easier. Um, the next thing we got is our second rendition of our field stake slash what we use in the water. Um, one quick note, these are spray painted black and the reason why is because they don't stick out as much as this case does. So good tip, just spray paint them black. It's a lot easier to hide and honestly you don't have to camouflage them up that much. This one here, we shoot over 180 degrees with this. Um, we're able to pull the video together and move it around side to side to get the two clips together just in case something's out of range on one camera. It was something that we learned on our first go around that we were unable to, I mean we basically had just this one camera on a stake and found that sometimes the birds got out of view. So we had a buddy make this up. It's just simple steel stock. They both have adjustable screws on them so you can go height up and down. And we did originally wrap this in some vinyl. Um, and you can get the vinyl. It's just sheets like that. There's a lot of companies out there that make it. And we do wrap some of the cameras in the vinyl just to make it easier. Um, we really don't think it's necessary after we spray paint these black and used them for a while. It didn't make that big of a difference. So these are great. This is square tubing with a little bit bigger square tubing over the top to make it adjustable height wise. And on the tips we do have a point on them so we can hammer them in the ground a lot easier. So that's one thing that we do use. These field stakes are really easy to make. I think my buddy made them in about five or ten minutes. Not much into them, just a little bit of scrap metal, a little bit of time and a welder, and you can end up with something that is really usable, really friend, friendly to usable. So that is one that I suggest. And then we got the standard GoPro mounts. You got your suction cup mount that you can use in the vehicle if you guys want to shoot some video of you guys going out to the field or talking or wrapping up. The next is a GoPro roll bar mount. Works great on bowl barrels, on AR223s, um, 308s, anything with a round barrel. It really does really well with recoil. Not that big of a problem. Next thing is the head strap. Head strap, it works alright as long as you got somebody else there to help you line it up and make sure that when you point the gun that it's looking upwards instead of downwards. Um, we lost a lot of video, a lot of great footage because it was pointed too far down and the bird was out of view. So make sure you have somebody help you set that up or look in a mirror when you put it on to make sure that when you shoulder that gun that it's pointed towards up just enough. Next thing is, is you got a chesty. Great for walking video. Um, we haven't really used this yet. The problem is going to be that when you go to shoulder the gun that your arms are going to cross in front of the camera and probably ruin the footage. So don't really highly suggest this. Maybe for you archery guys it will work better, but we, uh, we haven't really found any great uses for it. The next thing we got is the base in the box that the camera came on. And this one's been used so much it's kind of hard to get out. But um, it's just simple as that. It's just the base with a simple flat bracket on it. Slide that in. And then what we use is we got a, it's a go pole extension. I'll put the link in the description of where we got it. 
and it brings it up about another 12 to 14 inches. And in our low water conditions this year, this really came in handy because it really was user friendly in the lower waters to where you didn't want something like the stake three foot up. Um, so that was something that we started using a lot of. Next thing we got is the outdoor strap. I think they call it the helmet strap. But if, if you put this on right, the recoil, if you don't put the white deal in, the recoil will knock the camera out. And second of all, if you don't go around one of your ribs, the recoil will also affect the video. We do have a lot of footage from a camera mounted on a gun like this. I'll put the links in the description so you guys can see what it looks like. But this really worked out well for, the, for us this year and we will be using this again. Not ideal for the Benelli Super Vinci. It's loose on here. That's why we didn't use it on this gun. But double barrels, it works on it nicely. And there's probably a couple other manufacturers that it would work on. All right. Um, the main thing that really makes custom mounts easy is the tripod mount. I don't know how to even really explain it, but if you don't have these, then you're behind on time because you can make any mount, any design, and you can use this to mount a camera anywhere. Um, they're like four or five bucks online. I think Amazon's got them for five, five forty nine or whatever. Anyways, get some of these, play around, make your mounts. They're a lot better than the GoPro mounts. And the last thing is, is if you guys aren't using Wi-Fi, you're not going to get as good as quality video. And the reason why is because, as you can see here, I've got my iPad running right now, and I can see what I'm going to be shooting. So I don't necessarily use my iPad in the field. I take my phone with me and it works just as well. But that way you can make sure you're getting the shot that you really want. So that those would be the mounts that we do use. We're going to try a couple other things this year with some maybe 10 foot poles or try to rig up a cable camera at some of the fields we go to. Um, we're going to mount some two turkey decoys coming up here in turkey season when we go in a couple weeks. We'll see how that goes. As well as we are working on a project. Um, we are currently compiling all of our inventory of chokes that we've acquired. And we are also getting a whole bunch of ammunition to pattern each choke with different ammo. So we can showcase you guys what choke does with what ammo um, we're gonna try to do maybe one to two episodes a week we're gonna shoot all the chokes and all the ammo the same day so the variable is the same but we may not get it all edited to put it all up at once so we're probably gonna break that up but I hope this helped you guys if you guys got questions put it in the comments below and uh, look forward to hearing from you guys